Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video we're gonna have a look at some of the PSA dagger small parts that they sell on the website. Some are a great deal, basically all of them, compared to other uh, aftermarket parts for the Glock Gen 3 system. Uh, first we're gonna have a look at the trigger spring. Uh, that's nothing fancy or special about it. It's just that part that breaks the most often with the regular Glock Gen 3 system. Uh, so to have some spa spare uh, parts of that spring in stock that for sure can't uh, hurt. Uh, it's about $1.90 per spring. Uh, comes uh, one per packaging. I got me two. That's why two are in there. Then we have the another common problem with the Glock Gen 3 system is that the guide rod is polymer. Uh, the for the recoil spring and uh, the PSA dagger dagger one is in stainless steel. So usually the stainless steel ones are for sure like $18, $17, $18 or $20 for uh, such a quality uh, in stainless steel and polished and all. And uh, they sell it for around $8 and that is a great deal. So if you have a Glock 19 or Glock 23 Gen 3 or the similar version in a, a different caliber then that item quite likely will work in your gun and is a great upgrade for that small price that they charge. Then we have the PSA dagger sights, the standard sight set. Uh, we have there some more information. So it was often not clear if those sights are made in uh, metal, in a steel, or uh, because on say on eBay there is already sight sets uh, that are made out of aluminium. So I just got me one set for test, and that is how that looks. Now those are steel sights. They are magnetic. I did already test that. Now the front side has the screw. Uh, the rear side just has the threaded part and no screw. So I don't know yet currently if that comes with a, as usually with a, with a screw to set the rear side as well. So I'm gonna check that with the customer service from Ameriglow. Now for the side picture, that is pretty much standard, like. Uh, from the size like a regular clock sight in a polymer just that we have here the three dots the three white dots uh, there is not uh, much anything special about it other than that is made in steel for a really good price so it's for sure a great upgrade uh, if you have just a regular polymer sights on your clock and the uh, the white dots are milled in the steel there, so you have space that you could even uh, fill it with a paint if you want to have an orange front side, like I do that most often, or if you want to have a glow-in-the-dark paint uh, filled in the dots, that would work as well. So build quality looks pretty good. I did not put it yet on the slide, so I can't say how well the the rear side and the front uh, fit on it, but optically it looks pretty good. So yeah, they sell of course other spare parts too, basically the, the whole item, the whole PSA dagger in, in uh, spare parts. Uh, the trigger I would not buy because it has a hinged design, that's the main drawback. The frame I would not buy either, at least not right now, because that has a problem uh, that there are not too many holsters available 
if you want to carry the thing uh, there is not that much out there as of yet I'm sure that's gonna change over time but uh, the standard Glock holsters or polymer 80 holsters gonna in, in kydex or in a thermoplastic not gonna work with it because the shape is different so I never did buy that and go in a different route so that much about the spare parts of the PSA dagger.